So it turns out the perfect landing page structure does actually exist. And by the end of this video, you're going to have the entire template for yourself to implement for your agency or your info product. I know this works because I studied 11 of the greatest agencies and in info product websites and notice these 11 steps are a common theme across them all. So I implemented for my own websites and it's made me over seven figures with organic traffic. Let's go ahead and break this down. So I'm going to be giving you guys examples as I actually walk you guys through the element first things first is we got to speak to our perfect prospect the same exact way i just said directly in this video that i'm talking to info product guys and agency owners i gotta call out the target market so when they click the website they know that they're qualified for this then i'm going to show them the transformation or the desired outcome that they're going to get from actually reading through this website and hopefully booking a call then i show people the steps that it takes aka the deliverables that we provide in a roadmap form underneath the main headline and then what's next the main steps as a call to action and of course a little bit of social proof the prime example here was designed and created by alex he is my strategic partner my go-to landing page guy and you guys can see right here he shows the reviews he has a big headline statement that is covering the outcome we got to understand that we are selling a destination we're not selling the flight here to the destination we're showing people what the end result will be when they work with us then underneath that the subheading is showing the steps that it's going to take with a call to action and some big names that the individual worked with this is what's going to get people to stop scrolling another option you guys can have over here is a vsl a video sales letter i have a vsl template if you guys want it just comment down below in the video and i'll share it with you next up is going to be representing the problem guys this framework here is so logically tested all of these websites that I studied had these exact elements in the same exact order. These guys have spent millions of dollars on it and it's made millions of dollars back. So don't ignore any of these steps. Don't try playing around with it. Use this as your baseline. So represent the problem. People are more likely to move away from pain to joy, meaning people want to remove a pain from their life. So you're going to use their words. You can get creative with this. Those long copy sections don't work as well as before. You don't need some crazy direct response language page if you have a high ticket offer what you should be doing instead is studying the terminology that your perfect prospect uses and then showcase the pain points that they have and show how you are going to be solving it for example these are the main most common issues that the prospect has and here's exactly how it's solved so how do you actually identify these well it depends if you already have clients if you already have students you're going to interview those people you're going to ask them what made you purchase what pains were you facing ask them these and the most common ones you're going to put on this element of the website here and if you do not have any clients so far you're going to go on forums and you're going to go on your competitors websites and see the pains that they're talking about and you're going to implement it right here and show that you are the bridge you are the solution to help them overcome this you're trying to aggravate them you're trying to irritate them you're trying to show them that there's so many other issues that you're facing but I can solve them because I have it down to a perfect process. And that leads us into step number three, making their life easier with the solution. Now that we know the main pain points and we struck a chord with the prospect that's visiting the website, we're going to show the benefits. We're going to show most people mess this up because they don't know how to implement it properly. Because realistically, your prospect already knows the solution. For example, if look at my offer, I'm teaching agency owners and founders how to build their personal brand into an authority. Well, a lot of these guys know that they need to be posting content, but they don't know how to post the right content. So I'm showing them that they're messing up with ABC. In this case, paid ads, copywriting, or market research isn't the best route. There are features, the technical boring stuff, and a benefit is something that makes your ICP's life easier. Features tell, benefits sell. We're not talking about all of the features here. We're talking about where people are screwing up and then we're selling the benefits. So a benefit is something that can make your ICP's life easier. Easy communication, transparency, fast delivery. These benefits should be something your ideal customer profile actually cares about. So look at this example, get tailored strategies that work no matter the market, save money, sustainability, and save time. We're talking about the end outcome people are receiving because of the services deliverables. Now there, we said a lot, we're showing a lot that we're great. We're showing people that there's pains. We're showing people that we can solve the problems. Well, now we got to clearly break down the evidence guys. I have so many more elements on this video. This is going to change your entire life. Just watch till the end. You're going to freaking love the actual end structure of the perfect landing page and you guys should implement it ASAP 
for your guys' own offers. The more evidence you have, the better it will convert. Now, what I learned from my friend called Ima Wizard is people don't actually read every testimonial. They're not looking through every single testimonial. You just want to swamp the page with them. So you have to simplify everything. You could have case studies, you could have logos, testimonials, and metrics and track records. So for example, what you saw right over here was a numbered review, but we also have the logos, but that's not enough. What people want to see is them in a similar situation and then how the situation was solved. So the structure we use is niche, results, time frame, point A, point B, and proof. For example, I am a agency owner that got these results of closing 100,000 deals in the past 90 days, right? So that covers these two. But I was struggling with not knowing what content to produce. I was struggling not knowing how to structure my landing page. But then once I hired this individual, everything changed and here were my results. This is the same framework you need to use whenever you're writing some sort of testimonial on your website or when you're interviewing a client or you have a case study that's a video or an image. This is going to show people the entire logical journey that they were about to go on. They can visualize themselves in each of these individual steps. So look how we did this on my own website. Right, we added Carl White. She closed three hundred thousand dollars worth of deals in ninety days. That's the time frame. The problem: new account, no authority. Goal: get consistent leads. Our our strategy: custom zero breakdowns via series and mind maps. I showed people what the entire journey looks like and add as many different niches as possible under your main umbrella niche. So, for example, I target personal brands. I target founders. I target. Uh, agency owners, and I'm talking about as many niches underneath that main umbrella. Then I got to show people the process. I showed the pains. I showed the problems. I sold solutions. I showed proof, but everyone's asking, okay, how the hell are you actually helping now? Well, this is where you need to show people the steps that it takes to reach the deliverable. Here, we're going to be showing the steps that it takes to reach the specific outcome. So step one, two, three, four. No one cares about just the technical stuff, but no one also cares about you just flaunting results. They still want to see in a high level overview, the overall results, the overall steps that you're going to be following following to reach this outcome, AKA the deliverables you have. So access your bundle, cost copy and customize, export and launch. These are going to be the three to six steps that you're taking people through on a journey. You can even have month one, month two, month three, you're showing people a roadmap and they know what they should expect. So number six is going to be showing what makes you that business makes you him. What makes you unique? What can you do so much better than other people? It doesn't have to be something that's 100% unique on the market. Compare yourself and explain what sets you apart. Explain what is that one part of your service that you're doing much better than everyone else. For example, designs and results. Your unique value proposition is what you're going to be showing off here because you guys have to understand results are just a commodity anymore. Anyone can get results, but if I have a unique mechanism, if I have something that makes me stand out from everyone else by saying, I have this traffic and acquisition method that no one in the market has, or I have this proprietary tech, or I have XYZ that no one has access to, people are going to lean towards me over the 20 other competitors in the space. And we're showing that off in this section. You can go and show people an image of whatever that value prop is, but you need to make sure that you stand out. So the idea behind this is showing who is qualified to work with you. So if you're paying for traffic or you're getting organic traffic, you don't want to get BS people booking calls with you. That's a waste of your time. Each bullet point should be something when your dream client reads, they will 100% recognize themselves. The more bullet points they find in the same way, the more their desire increases to work with you. They feel like the service was made specifically for them. So I have examples for you. Um, have too much time in your fulfillment and not enough time to scale your business. Uh, have everything in place, but the results are not achievable. An example from someone's site, adspend.com is what we will help with, what we won't help with. And he's literally unqualifying people who are not going to be a good match to actually work with them. And he doesn't want to waste his time with BS book calls. Then from there, we're going to show the offer. We're going to make an offer. We're going to reveal the price. We don't always got to reveal the price, but we should show people that we do have an, off an offer. So after stacking value on value, handling all objections, and you finally make an offer, you're going to show people what the end payment is or what the packages are you have. You can even block this out, block this out, block this out, and it can say book a call, right? So you don't have to always show it. You can just have a call to action here. But your objective is to still show what the packages you have 
and what the main outcome is, and then how you are going to help them reach that result with an easy call to action to book a call. Then you're going to take as much risk off the prospect's plate as possible. Then you're going to take as much risk off of the prospect's plate by using these four methods. You're going to have risk rewards, money back guarantees, free trials, demos. You can choose any of these. The entire function of this is to make them feel stupid for not taking you up on this offer. If you have a money back guarantee, show it near the beginning of the page and near the call to action. If you have a free trial, show them it's risk free, show risk rewards, show demos, show people that it's worth their bloody time. Then you're going to go into handling the objections that couldn't be handled in the copywriting. That's what the FAQ is for. That is the most frequently asked questions. It's super simple here. Go to your client, ask them what held them back from actually paying you and use those questions here and answer them all. And the final step over here is super simple. We have mastered this art of creating landing pages for personal brands, for agency owners, for info product guys. You don't have time to implement the full 11 step framework. We have this down to a freaking science and generated over 10 million freaking dollars from these landing pages for the best names in the space. If you want a beautiful landing page with the best of the best copy following all of these 11 elements, then click the link below, book a call with our strategic partner, Alex, and he will get everything set up for you. Every single one of my websites I've ever created throughout the past year has been created with Alex's agency and I'm so excited to announce that I partnered up with him because of how exceptional his results and his service has been. So just click the link below and book a call and get your landing page set up and I'll see you guys in the next video.